All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone. And this is Shia Shalom I'm to all the I came out here that's doing the pushing the work in truth and in sincerity, okay? The ones that are doing the work of the elect, okay? Um, I want to um, go on this uh, topic, you know, of, um, you know, is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah first in your life? Okay, and um, you know, that's a question. Okay, and I'm gonna uh, just go ahead and go through with the scriptures. Okay, it's uh, what Paul said in Galatians 2 and 20. Okay, it says, I am crucified with Yahweh Shah, nevertheless, I live. Okay, so a part of that crucifixion is putting off that old man. Okay, the the or or the, the ways how you used to uh, be, you know, or, or do, okay, that uh, didn't allow you to put Yahweh Hashem outside first, okay? When you didn't know the Lord, okay, you was a, a alien, okay, onto, the, onto his covenants, okay, onto his promise. Now that you know the Lord, you know, you, you, you're supposed to put him first, you know, and, you know, and, and uh, basically live your life, you know, through him, okay? Um, it says, yet not I, but Yahweh Shah live, live, lives in me, okay? So we supposed to be a walking manifestation of the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, okay? When you come into this knowledge, okay, that you're an Israelite, okay, you're supposed to, um, you know, do, uh, look at, look at the scriptures. The scripture says that Yahweh Shah is the author and the finisher of our faith, okay, and, and the Lord, okay, Yahweh Shah, he came to do the will of the Heavenly Father, okay, it says, in the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of Yahweh Shah, okay, and that's what this really is, man, this is a, this is a, this life that we're living, you know, this is about, you know, having faith, man, Okay, now a lot of people, you know, um, don't have the faith, man. Okay, and it shows because they don't put the Lord first. Okay, and um, if you aren't putting the Lord first, then that shows that you may be somebody who lacks little faith, man. Okay, now every brother got different uh, portions of faith. Okay, but the elect, okay, when it comes down to the elect, they're going to get it and they're going to put the Lord first, okay, and they're going to live their life, okay, as if, you know, Yahweh, which Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is here, you know, the, the scripture says that, you know, he, he's, um, you know, he, he's, uh, he's in us, man, okay, and, and each, each and every one of the brothers that are in your camp, you got to look at them like, hey, you know, this, you know, Yahweh Shah is living through this brother, man, you know? So, so whatever, if this brother is in the time of need, okay, then I'm going to be there for that brother, okay? Uh, when it comes down to, to linking up with brothers, I'm going to go ahead and do that because, hey, if Yahweh Shah was here, you know, I would want to do that for Yahweh Shah. Okay? Um, it says, who loved me and gave himself for me. Okay? And if you're not uh, living your life, okay, putting Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah first, and you in this truth, you know, you basically saying that, hey, you don't care whether, you know, the Lord died for you or not. You know? The Lord, the Lord gave us grace, man, because... The stuff that uh, we did in our lives, you know, and, and maybe still doing, you know, the Lord has mercy on us, okay? And um, that grace period is running out, man, okay? So I'm going to continue on. Colossians 3 and 1. If you then be risen with Yahweh Shah, Seek those things which are above where Yahweh Shah 
sits on the right hand of Yahweh. It says, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Okay? Now, you know, that comes into the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Okay, which is, it comes from, from above. Okay? Um, it says, for you are dead, and your life is hid with Yahweh Shah and Yahweh. You know, and a lot of people, you know, they don't have to, to, to look at, you know, they're going to look at us like, you know, you that same nigga. Who uh you know who we knew growing up or you know hey I used to change your pampers and all type of stuff man you know they're gonna look at you and take you take you for a joke you know but hey our life is is here in Yahweh Shah because it's not for everybody to get man okay it says when Yahweh Shah who is our life okay cause that's that's the point man Yahweh Shah is our life okay it comes down to you know doing videos okay you gotta know what you're doing these videos for it ain't because you know the order is all hey brothers do the videos but but more so of edifying and you know uh spiritually uplifting other brothers man okay you know doing this you know for for the uh to to, to hopefully profit somebody else Okay. It says, um, when Yahweh Shah, who is our life, shall appear, then you shall also appear with him in glory. Okay, so when Yahweh Shah comes back, okay, on them the, the, the chariots, okay, and he raises us up, okay, Lord willing, if we are the, of the elect, it's gonna be a glorful uh thing because the Lord, you know, is gonna raise up them people who, who uh who, who kept them first, man, okay, it says, mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, okay, and I got the definition for mortify, okay, it says, to, um, obsolete, to destroy the strength, vitality, or functioning of, it says, to subdue or deaden the body, bodily appetites, okay, etc., especially by abstinence or self-inflicted pain or discomfort okay to subject or severe I mean to subject to severe or vexing embarrassment okay and that goes into a hey, what the scriptures say being a fool okay uh, first Corinthians 4 and 10 we are fools for Yahweh's sake, but you are wise in Yahweh's side. Okay? That's, you know, looking like a fool because, hey, people people going to look at you. Oh, you got a beard on your face or, you know, uh, you got on, got on a skirt, you know? Hey, today is uh, February 13th, man, and, and I heard that, um, you know, today, man, you know, people people um, basically joking on, uh, you know, the, you know, about uh the beliefs and stuff like that that comes from the scriptures you know people like literally making a joke about you know what we believe in you know and i could have easily you know uh cussed them out and stuff like that said y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about you know da, da 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 but these people they 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 know something you know in order to, for them to, to to say oh yeah they the, they the israelites and you know they had to to, to inquire to know even what an Israelite is, you know, but when it comes down to, um, you know, uh, actually being a part of this thing, you know, that's not for them. And some of these people, okay, are meant to come up against us in order to, to, to have us in the, in the, the spirit of actually trusting in and putting the Lord first. Okay. So when certain situations like that happen, you know, somebody may come at you or mock you or joke and stuff like that. You know, you know, we could have been like them. Okay, we we were like them. Okay, and this is something that we supposed to be embarrassed about. You know, because we 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 changed ourselves. You know, and we we you know the Lord allowed us to to come into this knowledge. Okay. But before you came into this knowledge, you wasn't you wasn't really down for the knowledge, you know. Most people 
uh, reject it, okay, when it when uh when when they first hear it, okay. But now that you know it, you're supposed to be like, oh shoot, man, like I was denying this the whole time. Now, of course, if we if we would have known ahead of time, then we would have did did it. But the Lord calls us in when He wants us to come in, you know. But but at the end of the day, we supposed to come into this thing and we supposed to feel embarrassed about the the ways that we was living, okay, the things that we were doing, okay, and change that, okay. It says mortify your your members which are upon the earth, okay, which once again destroy the strength, vitality, or functioning of. Okay, fornication, uncleanness, okay? Um, you know, fornication, sleeping with another man's uh woman, okay? Uh whatever other type of, you know, craziness she was probably doing, you know, uh, uh spiritual adultery, okay? Um hanging around the wrong people. Okay? You know, a lot of a lot of some of us, you know, was 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 raised in the hood, okay, and uh, you know, being around hood niggas, you know, that 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 um that is a, something that you have to mortify when you come into this truth. You know, if you come around, you know, you know that they're going to be joking and you know talking shit, you know, about you, okay, but you know that if you go around there. Them niggas ain't in their right mind, okay? Somebody might run up and, uh, you know, shoot up the, the, the hood or whatever the case may be, okay? The cops come around, niggas all run like roaches, you know? You, or you get caught up in some shit that, you know, uh, from a, from another man uh, doing, okay? And you don't want that, man, okay? So it's best to just destroy the strength, okay? If you can avoid it, just stop going around there, man. Or stop, you know, hanging out with people, okay? That 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 are gonna get you in, a, you know, the wrong the wrong way, okay? And start being amongst the the brothers, okay? So basically, don't give that life, um, that that hood life, okay, any life, okay? And that's just one example of many other uh, things, okay? Now you may have some family members and stuff like that, you. May, you know, it's nothing wrong with, you know, see, seeing their face every now and then. But you just, you know, you should be you should be into this work, okay, first and foremost. Okay? Um, it says uncleanness, okay, inordinate affection, evil con concupiscence, okay, and covetousness, which is a idolatry. Okay, all the, you know, wanting the things in this world and stuff, you know, covered in your life. Okay, it says, for which things sake the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh comes on the children of disobedience. And a lot of these people who, who uh, you know, don't have the Lord first, they're going, they're going to be destroyed because they're not o obeying uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, okay, and keeping the faith, Okay. This is uh, Proverbs 3 and 1. It says, My son, forget not my law, but let your heart keep my commandments. Okay? The Lord say, go out on the highway and hedges. That's a commandment. Okay? When you go out on the highway and hedges, you know, uh, brothers, you know, me and the brother uh, Samuel from my camp, you know, we did a video on basically living, living the Lord's way. When you go out that camp, you ain't supposed to be, you know, in a rush to, to hurry up and get home. You know, you're supposed to be out there locked in in the spirit, okay? And wanting to do this, being on fire. It says, for length of days and long life and peace, so they add add to you. Okay, going out on the highway and edges is a commandment, okay? That's going. That's that's one of the, the, the pathways, okay, to having uh, everlasting life, okay? To having peace, okay? It says, let not mercy... And truth forsake you, bind them about your neck and write them upon the table of your heart, which your heart, okay, is your mind, okay, which is la'ab in uh, the uh, Hebrew, okay, and, and the definition says inner man, mind, 
will, heart, understanding. Okay. So, so our understanding, or what's basically in us, is supposed to be, you know, mercy. Okay, and and uh, and and truth, man. Dealing with dealing with this truth, man. Okay, when when certain situations happen, you know, you ain't supposed to be quick to to, to fly off, you know, and and uh, as if the truth, you know, isn't isn't in you, man. Okay, you're supposed to have it always with you, man. Okay, it says, so shall you find favor and good understanding in the sight of Yahweh Bashmiyasah and man. Okay. Now, I'm gonna get that scripture. Um, Proverbs sixteen and seven. When a man's ways please the Lord, okay, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him, okay. So you may go, you might have them, them people, you know, who, who may be talking shit about, about you or whatever, you know. But hey, if you're pleasing the Lord, okay, he, he's able to make them people that's talking shit about you to be at peace with you, you know. Instead of wanting to, you know, fight you or whatever the case may be, you know. But the the, the thing is that, you know, our 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 ways should be towards pleasing y'all by some y'all side, you know. Because eventually some of these people who um who might talk shit, they may they may come to you for answers and that might be uh uh you know Keith Keith, you know, for for them. You know, it says trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not onto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Okay, when you wake up, this is supposed to be the first thing that you, you think about. You know, doing videos. Okay, linking up with brothers if you can. Okay, if a brother is in need, you know, you, 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 you be there for the brother as much as you possibly can. Okay, it says, be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, depart from evil. It shall be health to your navel and marrow to your bones. You know, your spirit, you know, will be able to bear whatever comes your way because you have the Lord first, you know. There ain't nothing that's going to be able to stop you, man. Okay. This is this is basically who we who we are, man. You know, it says, honor the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh with your substance. And with the first fruits of all your increase. Okay. So so the first thing that you like you come come across some money, okay, for example, your 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 mindset should be, okay, well, I'm a I'm a if I got some money, I'm gonna make sure that I you know give give what the Lord want, man. Okay? Not you know get some money and then go buy the things that you want. You know, you're supposed to be in the mindset of, you know, hey, I'm a, I, the reason why I got this money in the first place is because y'all about some y'all side. Okay. It says, so shall your barns be filled with plenty and your presses shall burst with out. I mean, so burst out with new wine, you know? So, so the Lord is going, you know, that's a blessing, man. You're going, you're going to be able to be sustained. Okay. in this truth. Okay, if you, you continue to do, you know, and put Yahweh Bashim Yahweh first, it says, My son, despise not the chastening of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh neither be weary of his correction. So when you when you going through hell, okay, the fact is you're still supposed to put the Lord first, okay? Like like uh, Job did, man, okay? Fasting and prayer is, is extremely important, man. Okay, it says, for whom the Lord loves, he corrects, even as a son, I mean, even as a father, the son in whom he delights. Okay, so the fact is, if you catch a hell, you ain't supposed to be like, oh man, the Lord ain't having no mercy on me, man. I'm about to fall out the truth, man. You know, no, nah, the Lord is actually showing you love, man. Okay, you need to take that. Okay, so with that, man, hopefully this is edifying. Okay. Um, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is supposed to be first, man, okay, and we supposed to acknowledge that, man, 
okay and show that we understand okay um so with that you know i want to say uh shalom till next time